Hey guys, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered. Appreciate you showing up. Today we're going to talk about the RCVS Bullet Puller. A lot of us that reload will make a batch of something and sometimes it won't work out. Maybe, maybe it doesn't cycle the firearm that we're trying to get it to go to when we're messing with trying to make light loads, whatever the case is. But I got a bucket here of bad ammunition. And today, finally, I went out and purchased the RCBS Bullet Puller, which is a model number 9440. And then with that, you need to buy the right collet for whatever end you're using. The collets are about 10 bucks. I can't remember what the Bullet Puller was, but it comes like this. So basically, if you have some type of single stage press or whatever the case is, this will go in the press. That'll go in here. You'll tighten the bullet. Let's see if I got one here. You'll tighten around the projectile, and then your machine will pull the projectile out so you can save the powder. You can save the projectile. It makes it nice. It saves money, and then you just don't have a big bucket of stuff sitting there. So I'll show you how this works real quick. We'll get down to business. All right, so I got today I'm using a Redding single stage press. This basically just goes in here. doesn't really matter on the height so we'll call that good and we'll give it a little crank and that's all is needed now this part does come with it this is what will tighten down the collet today let's do uh, we're gonna do 40 so I'll just push this up in here a couple spins I'll add the right shell plate this one's set up for the 40 and then let's get a couple 40s So in here we'll be doing a jacketed hollow point. That'll be one that we'll work on. We'll show that you can use these with the uh, Acme bullets as well. And I have some regular Extreme or Barry's bullet. I'm not sure which ones they are. Let me find some. Here we go right here. So there's three different types. You can see down here, I've already pulled a bunch, but I'm gonna show you how easy this works. And I am going to uh, move the camera around and that way you can really get an idea of what's going on. So right, stay so tuned. Reposition the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. You're gonna need something to capture the powder that's coming out of it. So I'm just gonna put this back into the uh, tight group as that's what I was using when I loaded these. The bullet, we'll start off with the jacket and hollow point real quick. Put it in the, the shell holder. Bring that up. And then for the first one, I had to spin it a few extra times, but you basically just a very light pull and it comes out. So that now I can capture the powder, reuse that. I let go of the collet. <clears throat> and then I end up with a perfectly good bullet that uh, has no marring on it. You can over tension these, which you don't need to do. You will ruin the, the projectile. I got full metal jacket, hollow point here. Just finished with the uh, red Acme bullet. Looks good. No deformity. We'll do another one again. I think that's where the video ended. So you got a 180 grain, 40 cal Acme bullet. And that wasn't tight enough. So I'll bring it, I'll loosen it back up and then give it a little more and that worked just fine some people are using the uh, hammer which is uh, inertia driven where it, it you know you sit there and hammer it and it pulls the uh, the bullet out nothing wrong with that <clears throat> I just didn't want to I didn't want to deal with all that I didn't want to sit there and hammer late at night when you know the family might be sleeping and I'm in the garage trying to beat the crap out of these things to get them to come out I wanted something that was a little nicer a little easier to do and then uh, you know this stuff's gonna last forever so it's a good investment it's not like I'm gonna stop reloading and not need this stuff so definitely useful but it's very simple we will do a change real quick and I will show you how fast a change is to a different caliber so I'm gonna pull the shell plate which isn't a shell plate it's a shell holder and let's do this one, brand new one here. So we'll put the old nine millimeter in, throw that in there. 
That's simple enough, right? I'll take this, lower this down a little bit without squishing my fingers. And that's that simple. I will put a new one in, which will be this one, which is brand new in a package. So I'll move that over. And then I'll flip this the right way, tighten that up a, a hair smidge, and I'll grab a nine millimeter. This is a hollow point, nine millimeter. Run it to where it starts to uh, pull. That one's a toughie there. I think I was on the brass a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> so that's the first time I used that one. It looks like with the 40 cal, you can bring it all the way up and the, uh, the collet will catch on the brass. This one, it looks like, or not catch on the brass. The nine millimeter looks like it can go up. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe it's just that one. So that's how simple that is. Bam, I'm just saving money right now. Getting getting to collect powder and reuse my brass. And the projectile, mostly. The expensive part, that one came out super easy. And that's how fast this is. It's very simple to use. You could have your, uh, you know, young son or daughter sitting here helping you if you really wanted to. Um, it's very, very, very simple. So let's do a little bit of uh, mixing some stuff up. I did a hollow point. This is a full metal jacket. Nice, easy, very easy to do. And very simple. So let me try something we haven't done yet. Oh, here's one right here. Let's try the Acme bullet. This is a 124 grain Acme bullet. In 9mm, see how easy it is, comes right out. Let's see if we get any marring on the projectile. Nope, looks good. You can see a little bit of uh, where the crimp from the projectile was squeezed down a little bit. But it looks really good. Let's try another one of those. Here's a, here's a blue bullet. So let's try blue bullet. This is a high-tech coated or powder coated projectile as well. I'm going to do a very light, just a quick thing. That didn't work, so I'll loosen it up again. That didn't work. I didn't really go much tighter. Let me squeeze down on it. And it came right out. But let's see what we did. I see if I could have went a little bit lighter without deforming the bullet. What's kind of cool, too, is you can tell your crimp... If your crimp's too tight or your flaring's not wide enough where you're getting some, uh, basically where you'd be getting lead fouling, you can see there that uh, the powder coat, either from loading it or pulling it, was uh, damaged the coating a little bit. So it's good to get an idea of what you're doing. Maybe your crimp's too tight. Maybe it's not tight enough depending on what you're making. But that's the quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.